The first thing we need to do is remove the rear pole. So we'll loosen that tension knob so that pole can slide out. And we can set this aside. And then we need to bring the machine up to the carriage. Now that I've placed the machine onto the carriage, I want to take the rear pole and place it back into its brackets. I don't want this machine to buck off on the frame. Okay, the other thing is you'll notice how this rolls. Okay, important thing is that you need to level your feet. It has the four leveling feet on whatever frame you're using. You need to make sure it's level so that it doesn't roll like that because that's not good quilting. To install your stitch regulator cable, run your hand back like this and the stitch regulator cable is keyed. So you want to make sure that that fits into the key of the regulator. So we're going to go ahead and place that in there. To install your power cord, take this end, plug it into your power source on the machine, then use the clamp, slide that clamp over onto the power cord, and then when you're ready to quilt you can plug the, into the wall, into your power. The one thing I do recommend is that when you're not using your machine, you unplug it from the wall. To turn the machine on, press the toggle switch to the one. Zero is off, one is on. 